Let's chat about caring for and cleaning your scanner. Well, first rule of engagement is prevention rather than cure. As I already talked about, but just to review, locate your scanner in a dust-free environment away from drafts, all right, away from any sources of dirt and dust, no moving air, windows, doors, vents, fans, avoid them. All right, and then set up your scanner on a nice hard surface, no fabrics, because right, fabric has static electricity, which attracts dust and dirt, and then there for the gets on your scanner and your images, so stay away from that, all that completely. And then you may have noticed I've been wearing these lint-free gloves the whole time we've been talking about scanners and I've been handling my scanners and my images. Always, always wear these and it's critical because your fingers have oil on them. No matter how much you wash your hands, you've got oil on your fingers and that oil gets on your scanner, gets on your images, uh, and then that attracts dust and dirt and boy, it's just awful to keep clean. Don't believe me? Take a look at this keyboard that hasn't been washed in a while. See all that gunk on there? That's from oil on the fingers that has attracted dust and dirt. Think about getting that on your images or on your scanner. Now, we want to avoid that whenever possible. Oh. And since these gloves are so Im important, and I don't know about you, but I don't wear these all day long, all day. That's not the kind of environment that I work in. I typically use them just when I'm working on my scanner or touching my images. So I'm likely to, if I don't already have my gloves on, is I'm likely to walk into my scanner and start handling my scanner. And then I remember, oops. Right? So what I do is I put a pair of these gloves right on the top of the scanner. And that gives me a visual reminder that, oh, I need to put on my gloves before I even touch my scanner. And it really works for me. A couple of other details about gloves is I recommend you get the good quality ones like these. See how nicely that fits? It improves the dexterity that you have for handling your scanner and your images and loading and unloading and so forth. And I buy them by you know, the bag or the box. And I recommend uh, getting them from a, a company that you know, has the good quality gloves, not just the inspection gloves, um, but the really good quality gloves. I get mine from uh, glovesonline.com. And it's gloves-online.com. And it, the, these right here are the all-day gloves. So that's what I recommend. Uh, in terms of the gloves. And then, of course, leave the gloves in the plastic packages until you're ready to take one out and use it so that you're not collecting dust. Right. So, but, uh, no matter how careful you are, you know, you're going to end up getting some dust and dirt in your scan, your images. So, let's talk about some tools and techniques to help you clean your scanner. First, tools. Well, what's the first tool? Well, prevention. Second tool, the gloves, for sure. All right. No question about that. Then, some other tools here is these uh, little uh, peck pads here. These are dust-free, lint-free, uh, pads you can go in the pec pads. Are, a lot of people sell these and they're kind of the industry standard. There's some other varieties as well, but make sure that they're lint-free and very, very soft. Uh, and then a, a little brush here, a little fine brush. This one happens to have a little air pump on it. Uh, and then lens cleaning solution. You want to get some of that uh, for when you can't just wipe things off. But make sure you don't use household or industrial cleaners. Because two things. One, they'll leave a film. And two, sometimes it'll actually corrode uh, the plastic on your scanner. And then uh, some judicious use of, of canned air can sometimes be helpful as well. All right, so there's kind of our tools. Uh, now let's talk about the actual cleaning process. When do you want to clean your scanner? Well, just prior to using your scanner. Don't clean your scanner and say, oh, it's time to go to lunch, and then come back and start scanning. No, you want to clean it just before. So get everything all ready, organize your images, and then clean your scanner. And how do we go about doing that? Well, of course, you've got your gloves on all, all the time. And open up your scanner. We're going to talk about uh, cleaning this kind of a scanner, the flatbed scanner or the multi-purpose scanner. Why? Because there's lots of surfaces that can get dirty here. We'll do the film scanner in just a little bit. That's easier to kind of handle. Uh, so you've got your gloves on, and then we're going to grab a, a lint-free pad here. Notice I'm taking it out of the bag, because after you use these once, toss them, because they're going to get dirty. They'll collect lint, and then you start using them, and you put lint on the skin. Not a good idea. Okay, so uh, grab your gloves, grab the lint-free uh, pad, and then your initial inclination is to start cleaning the bottom because that's the key surface. Don't, because one, you'll either forget to clean the top or then you'll go clean the top and knock all the dust onto the bottom. I know it's silly, but it happens all the time. So clean the top surface first, all right? And I like to, you know, wipe away from me, away from the scan, away from the images, all right? And then you can come down and, and do the bottom. Same thing, like this. And sometimes that's all you need to do. But, but you know, I don't know how it happens, but I look down there, I clean it off, and there's somebody's thumbprint. Certainly not mine, all right? I don't know, somebody has been touching this scanner while I've been away. So when it's like that, don't just push harder. That's when you want to use your lens cleaning solution, all right? So you open this puppy up. Right? And then don't spray this right on the platen. Spray it on the cloth here, and then easy circular strokes like this. And then I end up going, you know, away from me away from me like that. And you can do the same thing on the top of the scanner. And you know, if you don't have um, uh, this uh, foam uh, part in, if you've got a, a transparency adapter on top of your scanner, you'll be cleaning the glass on top. Either way, start on the top. All right, so 
do the pad, and then you'll be working with your image, and you may notice, oh, there's one little piece, you know, of dust in there. That's when this comes in handy. Always away from you, away from your images, away from the, the scanner. And then sometimes, you know, a little bit of canned air is useful or helpful to use, just to blow a little bit off. Uh, but listen, if you're working in a dusty environment at all, all the canned air does is blow dust into the air and covers everything. So uh, I, I tend to use this rather than the canned air because and sometimes the canned air is just too hard and too strong. All right. all right, and then finally, I'm going to tell you not to do what I'm doing, and that is don't talk while you're cleaning your scanner or your images. All right, because what happens is when we, we've got a, a pedi pad, right, and we're... Uh, over the top of the scanner and I'm cleaning the scanner like this, what am I doing? I'm talking and I'm spitting on my scanner. Right? I don't intend to, but that's what happens. Same thing when you're cleaning your images. Shh, silent process. All right? So that's for cleaning your flatbed scanner and your multi-purpose scanner. Now, for film scanners, actually these are a little bit easier to deal with in a way. What you don't want to do is what I've done right here. All right? See how I've got my film holder and it's still in the scanner? Maybe I scanned this morning or last week and the film holder is still there. That's going to cause a problem. Why? Because most of these film holders have got these little windows on them like this, and that prevents dirt and dust from getting inside the scanner. If you keep the film holder in the scanner for long periods of time, that opens it up to dirt and dust. Can you clean dust away if it gets inside? Oh, sure, you can kind of take your canned air and put it in here and psh, sweep, but all that really does is blow the dust around inside. Hopefully you blow it off maybe the scan surface. But uh, yeah, cleanliness and prevention is really the way to go with these because if you get much dust or dirt and then you have to open them up to actually clean them. So, and then when you get done with the scan process, close everything up all right, so that uh, you prevent dust and dirt from getting on the scanners. And then what I like to do at the very end, you'll notice in the end of my, my scan bench here, I've got this, um, this, this cloth. We'll put that down there so we don't knock it over. And I fold that cloth back on top of itself, so at the end of the scanning process, right, I can take this and just drag it all over everything on, on my scan bed, and that prevents any dust from collecting while I'm not using my scanner. I don't scan every day, all right? I scan, you know, maybe I have a scan session a couple of times a week, but I keep it covered like this. And then when I take it off, I just fold it back on itself so that the dusty surface is never facing towards my scanner, scanner equipment, images, and cleaning equipment. So that's how to keep your scanner clean.